What's up guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'd like to review the Anker Dual USB 20W wall charger. And why is that? Well, because a lot of people are, are having problems when charging their phones that it goes quite slowly or their battery deteriorates or it just doesn't go fast enough. And there's a lot of differences between kinds of charger that you get. For example, to say that a mobile manufacturer, a mobile phone manufacturer, for example, iPhone, they will provide you with an okay charger. And you'd think the charger that iPhone, uh, that Apple provides you is the best charger for the iPhone, but that's actually not true. And to give you an example as to why that's not true, for example, let's say you go to a car dealership and you buy the car and you're very happy, but actually, you didn't buy the best option for your sound, for your sound system. This means that even though the sound coming out of your car is good, it could be much better if you upgraded to that better sound system, which you didn't because the manufacturer actually doesn't provide the best sound system available for that car. And same is with chargers. Mobile phone manufacturers don't provide the best charger for your phone. And with best, I mean the one that charges your phone fastest. And that's where Anchor comes in. So let me explain you how those chargers work. All right, so there are two things you need to know when charging your devices. First of all, you need a good charger. And secondly, you need a good cable. And Anchor provides both of these. So let's assume for this example to show you what the difference is between a bad charger, a normal charger and a good charger. We'll assume that we're using an iPhone 6 with its original cable and its original charger. Let's draw that iPhone 6 real quickly. And you went to this dodgy place and you found a very cheap charger for only $3 and you thought, why not? So you think you did a good deal, but actually you didn't. So let's draw that charger right here and mark it with the C of cheap. Then we have the original iPhone charger, which we will mark with an I. And lastly, we have the Anker 20 watt wall charger dual USB. So all three of these devices get plugged into the wall and provide power to your phone. Now, let's say for this example that the power that goes from the charger to the phone is measured in liters per second, as if you would be fueling your car. So if you would be fueling your car, at the gas station and the pump provides one liter per second and another pump provides two liters per second that second pump will fuel your car twice as fast same with chargers that's why the cheap charger is the worst of the three chargers it can provide your phone and usually it provides your phone with half a liter or maybe even less liters per second and phones nowadays can handle up to 2.1 liters per second even 2.4 liters per second. Now the iPhone charger, the iPhone 6 charger that comes in the box provides your phone with one liter per second. So it's not the optimal since the iPhone 6 can handle 2.1 liters per second. And that's where Anchor shines. Anchor has up to four liters per second to give to both of these USB ports. So that means if you have the iPhone connected to the Anchor charger, it can receive up to 2.4 liters through one USB. However, the iPhone can only handle 2.1. Now Anchor thought of this and that's where their IQ mechanism kicks in. It looks at what kind of battery is connected and it can tell how much it can maximum take and will provide the liters per second accordingly. So in this case, it will provide the iPhone with 2.1 liters per second. Now let's say we connect a second device, for example, an Android device, which is perfectly possible with this charger. So let's draw the Android device here. When you connect that Android device to the Anchor charger, Anchor will evenly distribute the energy coming from the Anchor charger to your phones. So that means it won't be charging the iPhone with 2.1 liters per second. It will reduce it to 2 liters per second. So it can give the same amount to the second device that's connected. So both of these devices will be charged at 2 liters per second, which is still twice as fast as the original iPhone charger and four times faster than that cheap charger. So I hope now it makes sense to why it's actually so beneficial to have an anchor charger. 
it would mean your devices would receive twice the speed of charging. So two liters per second rather than one or half a liter per second. So now that you know how the charging mechanism works and what kind of charger is good and what kind of cable you should be using, let's take a look at the ones that I'm recommending. So first of all, we have the dual port USB charger from Anchor, which is great because this one charges two devices at the same time at maximum speed. Then what I would buy is the five micro USB cable pack because first of all, it has three different lengths, which is great. Second of all, it's not expensive. And third, you know, it's good quality. Then lastly, the nylon USB cable with lightning connector for those who have an iPhone. All right, so let's summarize what you get when you buy the Anchor 20 watt dual USB wall charger. So what you get when you buy the Anchor dual USB 20 watt wall charger is two USB ports, which is super useful. And the charger can hold up to four amps to deliver to both of those USB ports. So that means if two devices are connected, both devices will receive two amps and two amps, or as we said in the classroom, two liters per second and two liters per second, because the charger holds four liters to share. So if you're using the standard cable that comes with your phone, that's fine. If not, what goes perfect with it is of course the standard cables from Anchor. These don't have to be nylon USB cables. They can be regular Anchor USB cables, but at least when you go with Anchor, you know that you're getting decent quality. So my opinion, I guess you already know that. I would definitely recommend Anchor and I would really suggest that you use it. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.